Stasa 23 here. In today's night therapy, I have the Giant Mouse Ace Corta. This knife comes in at $195 and is OEM'd by Riot Knives. And this knife kind of reminds me of the small, a smaller flipper version of uh, this one. This is the Nazca, uh, another Giant Mouse Ace knife that I reviewed here on the channel recently. And, uh, you know, it's a flipper version with the liner lock pretty much, you know, has the same, that same upswept on the blade. So this particular knife comes in three variations. The one you see here, you can also get it in a green canvas micarta with a brass backspacer. Uh, also, you can get it with a blackout with a black G10 and black blade. Let's get some specs out of the way. Better idea of the size of this knife. You have a total length of 7.3 inches, a blade length of 3.1 inches, a grip area from here to the back of 3.4 inches, handle scale thickness of 0.49 inches, uh, close width in the pocket from here to here of 1.12 inches, blade stock thickness of 0.138, so pretty chunky uh, stock. Behind the edge thickness on my particular knife is around 18 thousandths. Let's take a closer look at this sexy blade. You got a nice drop point that has a flat saber grind on it with a nice satin finish, vertical satin on the primary and horizontal on the flats. You got a beautiful crown spine that really, really jazzes up the knife. I love the way Giant Mouse does that. You have a very needle-like point right there for piercing into them potato chips are doing your more detailed fine cutting uh, with that tip. You have a little small row of jimping that's well placed. That's one thing that they do very well is put the jimping where it should be. And I'd say it's medium traction. It gives you, you know, a little bit of traction. I find it more as a uh, locator point on the knife. You have a sharpening choil that does clear that plunge and will give you some sharpening light before it starts to widen up in the back over here. So now I think all there is left to do is to do some cutting with the Quarta. This right here is the sharpest knife I've gotten out of box from Giant Mouse by far. It was slicing very well, uh, handle so far comfortable, but this is just light work right here. Uh, the blade shape was just fine for doing this type of cutting. And this contoured scales and that texture in the micarta really helped me grip it nicely. Uh, this is probably more suited for your medium to large hands. Uh, it's not the biggest handle. Now we move on to the Pine 2x4 where we're going to test the ergos and how well that edge is still biting. Uh, right off the back is doing a really good job making these finer curls. I start increasing the pressure and uh, it's wanting to bite deep, nice and comfortable. Those contoured scales, once again, feel really nice. No hot spots. That uh, wire pocket clip is staying out of the way of my palm. And yeah, thought it did great. When I get to the sisal rope, this is where most factory edges flop. They usually don't have a whole lot of bite to them, but that front portion by the tip on the Corta, wow has nice bite to it and I push cut the majority of these. The blade shape is perfect for these type of cuts on the flat surfaces like this. The handle is comfortable in that pinch grip and so far I'm absolutely amazed by the knife. Um, I think it would be great at just about anything. It's like a jack of all trades type of knife and it definitely shined in the rope cutting. I don't know exactly how many uh, cuts I ended up making, but I did make a quite a few bit, uh, quite a few cuts. Definitely respectable uh, for M390, and the edge still felt really good after I was done. Man, these drag cuts like this were so, so easy. That thinner tip, like I said, it blasts through here. I'm just, just barely pushing down, hardly any pressure because it still has a great edge. Slicing capabilities off the chart, and it was definitely a joy and a pleasure to do pretty much all these tests. Most of the time, you know, when I do the sisal rope, I'm dreading it because it's a pain to get through, especially with these factory edges. This one, everything I put in front of it, it cut it without a problem. The uh, that tubing no problem whatsoever especially that that tubing is usually a problem for most knives 
nothing <laughs> i mean just look look how fast it's going through the materials blasting through them not a problem at all should have flipped that material over but still has a lot of bite to it and i'm actually kind of surprised look how thick I, this is definitely way thicker than i should have used with this knife but it got through it and it got through it without any problems whatsoever look at that it's got a tons they got tons of uh uh thicker areas there this is where all the seams are on the pant on the jeans and it goes through it without a blink of an eye all righty i hope y'all enjoyed that footage now i wanted to see what this edge is like after all that cutting because it still felt good yeah exactly what i thought still has an excellent excellent working edge on it now let's take a look at that deployment and action. The knife has a very snappy action riding on ceramic ball bearings and a ceramic detent. Well designed flipper tab that's kind of canted back and you have some nice fine jimping right there that, that grabs a hold to the finger but it's not uncomfortable. The light switch I find to be the easiest means of deployment but if you wanted to load up on top of that point you could and you get a little bit harder of a flip. But the light switch to me is comfortable and I don't really have to think about it the retraction on the knife you know it's a very light blade just some shaking it will come down not something that's that big of a deal to me your blade is centered up perfectly now let's take a look at this handle you have a nice canvas micarta uh handle scales right there that have some nice texture to them very very grippy to the touch that's why i love micarta and it darkens over time you have a Torx T8 pivot and hardware body screws uh, and clip screw. You have a deep carry wire pocket clip that is tip up left or right hand carry. Let's check it out in the pocket. One thing I love about the wire pocket clip, I don't have to worry about it uh, having hard angles, you know, scratching up or cutting my steering wheel. That's something that happens to me often. Uh, you have a perfect amount of ramp right there and it keeps it comfortable in hand. Uh, that micarta definitely grabs a hold to your uh, material of your jeans or shorts, whatever you want to wear them, and it pretty much disappears in the pocket. Now, you do have a flipper tab that would, you know, rub against anything in the pocket, not something I really care about. Now, let's take a look. You have a brass backspacer with some uh, jimping on both sides right there that, I guess, offer a little bit of traction. You have a lanyard hole that could fit just about any paracord if you're that, you know, like to carry lanyards on, I mean, having lanyards on your knife. Your liners are inset into the uh, micarta. Very nicely done there. And no skeletonization, but let's check it out on the scale. First off in grams, you're sitting at 104.8 or 9 grams and 3.7 ounces. Perfectly fine with me. Um, the extra weight is because those liners are stainless steel. I did check them with my, uh, my magnet on the back right here. Now let's take a look at the lockup. You're sitting at around, I don't know, 30, 40%. And uh, there's absolutely, I can't muscle any play up or down, left or right. Pretty rock solid lockup there. Your access to the lock bar is pretty good. You have this little cutout right here. You do have some te texture on the top with the little chamfer right there. So I can get my thumb in there f rather easily. But if you had, you know, fat thumbs or something like that, it may be a little bit more difficult for you. Uh, I didn't find it to be that difficult at all. Some quick size comparisons. We have the Giant Mouse Ace Sonoma and the Nazca. Um, it's, a, it's just a little bit smaller than the Nazca. Um, it's a good bit smaller than the Sonoma. Next up, we have the Spyderco Para 3 and the Hogue Deca. It's about the same overall length as both of these. Um, you have more cutting edge than the Para 3, and you have about the same as the Hogue Deca. Last up, we have the Ontario Rat Model 1, the Rat Model 2. Much more similar to the Rat Model 2. You have more cutting edge than the Rat Model 2, and overall length than it's dwarfed by the 1. All right, for my nitpicks and complaints, um, I had to really like reach on this, maybe give a little bit more lock bar access, but like I said, as it stands, it's not bad. I would have loved to see them not have this big old lanyard hole right here and maybe put a lanyard post into the back spacer. Um, as far as balance, it is handle heavy and that is because you have this brass back spacer. 
Definitely wish they would stop using these. Maybe put a titanium one there or just put some standoffs. I don't, I'm not too sure. I just, I don't love whenever you have a, a, a handle heavy knife and wants, you know, to rock back in your hands and it doesn't feel as light. But other than that, overall, I like the knife. Um, at $195, this is one that you're just going to have to really, really like the overall aesthetics of it and uh, want a, you know, smaller, more hand feeling for a medium to small size hand. Um, if you want something larger, like I said, you could go with the Corta or if you wanted something with the Axe Style Lock. Um, these three are all great options. This, is, in my opinion, is probably more in the in lines of the Ace Biblio, except the handle is slimmer on the Quarta. <laughs> I, I prefer the Quarta over the Biblio, and I know, you know, I'm probably in the uh, minority on that. or the, I'm not in the majority of people who rather the uh, Biblio over the Quarta. But that's just me. Um, this one, you know, performed better, high, much, much better than my Biblio. And overall, I enjoyed the knife. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace!